Niels Vogram is one of the rising stars on the European jazz trombone scene. What makes him so special is his overwhelming commitment to breaking new improvisational ground on the instrument while still paying respect to its tradition. Also unique about him is his dedication to leading several different projects simultaneously. These include his nostalgia trio with organist Florian Ross and drummer Dejan Terzik, as well as his duo with the sensational Russian pianist Simon Nabatov. Niels Volgram is an explorer. No stone in modern jazz trombone playing has been left unturned by this inquisitive and determined young musician. His most auspicious project to date is the group Route 70, a band dedicated to combining the old with the new. On their latest 2008 release, on 52nd and a quarter street, this quartet strives to find the music between the notes and deeply investigates quarter tone tonality. John Welch Music is proud to present and welcome you to Niels Volgram's new style jazz trombone and improvisation clinic. So, if I would use the regular positions. I have many movements and long movements, like from the fifth to the first position. If I use the alternate position, this, it's, oh, it looks like this, instead of like this. <laughs> and that's the main problem, I think, uh, which is also a, uh, one of the main reasons why a lot of classical players, I mean, there are many exceptions as we heard yesterday and today, um, have difficulties playing fast because First of all, what they do is they do this, they move the slide too much and they are not loose here. And then the instrument starts to shake. Like this. This is overemphasized, of course. Uh, I, w I try to work on many harmonic concepts, which I can introduce to you now. One is the uh, it's a concept that John Coltrane worked on a lot, which is like... Uh, a cycle of major chords uh, moving in major thirds. So it goes, for instance, from B major to G major to E major. And to go to those tonalities, you, you add one a dominant chord, like f to go from B major to G major, you add a, a D7 chord. And, you know, through like playing those lines, trying to make those changes, you you develop your own, or, you know, like new lines. We demonstrate this. So the bass line would be... Yeah. 